Hello, welcome in this new video. So today I was gonna do a video about the equinox. So this is the equinox on the 21st of June. So depending on where you live on this uh, planet, so it is the equinox, uh, summer equinox, or it is the winter equinox. So I was gonna do, I was thinking to do, um, sorry, <laughs> I was thinking to do a reading um, for both uh, together at once. So talking about um, the energy that are coming through and um, give you some advice to, to know how to use those energies. So let's go. So first thing before I start with the shuffling, the cards, I wanted to say that uh, what I've already channeled about this, what my guides are talking to me also about, is um, this energy of um, being at a crossroad. This energy of um, having to make decisions, uh, choices, to to decide where you want to to go to decide which path you're gonna take to decide which version of you you want to you want to manifest in the world and um, which aspect of you you want to develop or discover more so just gonna take card now so it feels that like this equinox is um, an invitation to welcome a new version of us, uh, to really uh, incarnate a new version of us, to really make new projects and take action. And um, the thing is, when you want to welcome a new version of you, a higher version of you, you need to let go of something else. You need to let go of a lower aspect. And um, it can feel like a sacrifice because it can be very difficult to let go of a situation or, or something. And um, yes, it is quite normal. You're evolving and to evolve you need to you need to make space for the new to come into your life. Whoa, a lot of cards just run on the floor. Wow, I need to I need to take them back. Hey, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> Things that happen when you shuffle. In fact, when this happens, when so much car just um, just fall, it used to mean that the energy is quite intense, and that uh, there is a lot of energy. There will be a lot of uh, maybe different timeline, crossing timeline, and um, maybe a lot of uh, different choice of things you can do. Yes. Ooh. Okay. I take a lot of cards, I'm gonna show you. Okay, 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 where I'm gonna start. So we had first the Ace of Wands. So a very creative energy, a time for new creation and new project. I talked also about this in the post about um, the energy for the coming week. So if you're not read it, it's, uh, it talks a lot about this, it's new energy for the new project. An energy of creation, an energy of um, re rebirth, also. So, which, what, where do we want to put our energy? What do we want to create? So, we are being given energy for new things to flourish. I have the Six of Cups. So there is a need to be playful, there is a need to 
welcome what's what's awake your inner child there is a need to feel the energy of love the energy of joy the energy of play and um, whatever new project or new direction you want to to take in your life it needs to be done with love it needs to be driven by love it needs to be inspired by love and joy and it should be something that makes you feel free that makes you feel happy it can also be something linked to other people i'm seeing something like an association with different people so some of you it's going to be also maybe um it could be for example a business or partnership with someone it could also be a new relationship so yes but there will be there will be choices to make there will be choices to make that is that is clear there will be choices to make we have the nine of cups also nine of cups so we're feeling there is um there is an energy of uh, emotional abundance so there is a chance to feel um whole and to feel uh, loved to feel like you are loved and feeling to feel like you are loved we're also coming to this uh, cancerian season also now and the cancerian season is uh, also very you know the, the cancer is very much about love it's very much about um taking care of yourself and taking care of your family is very much about um the home the family uh the house everything that makes you feel in your uh, in your cocoon in some way so we also have this energy of finding uh, also maybe an environment uh or people that uh really fulfill you that really makes you feel happy and joyful So there is here a research for new projects that are uh, linking to finding emotional joy, finding um, that you find yes, also f- uh, okay. I'm getting finding that you found your place in the world also, feeling that you belong, that you belong to your that you find your your soul tribe, for example, finding that you belong in a community. There is this energy of family. Finding your your soul family can also be coming together with people, with friends, and as I said, that I have also the three of cups celebration, having fun together, coming together, creative project together maybe. There is also the queen of pentacles here. Needs to incarnate, incarnate something new. To the six, to into this one. I'm feeling incarnating the peace, incarnating as um, I'm feeling the mother energy. this energy this caring energy this safe energy i'm feeling the energy of gaia the earth also so it's also uh, coming back to yeah to to a place of really deep connection with other people and with yourself with the universe of devotion It's like really honoring each other's soul. It's really beautiful. And it's funny on this side, I've got also the seven of swords and the five of swords. So that are a bit like the difficulties with uh, this. And uh, one of the thing is that uh, when you are 
generous and you're giving your energy to help other people and you are um, you really search that deep connection is to have your eyes wide open to know that uh, where you're putting your energy the people that you're giving your time they're not taking too much that they're not taking without giving you back of some love so it's also being careful of where you're giving your energy or your time or your money or yes um, knowing what you're doing okay they're saying there's also an energy of doubt yes you will have to make some choice with this energy this equinox energy you will have to make some choice but it's like uh, you don't know exactly what to do. You will have different things uh, or different ideas to a new project or to a new path in your life or a new spiritual um, path, for example. And uh, maybe you don't have so much clue and you will have to take a, a leap of faith and just uh, believe. And it can be quite difficult if you are a bit stressed or if you are someone that likes to know everything before it happens. Because um, you basically, basically with, with the card I showed you before, you've been asked with this one you know, before, you've been asked to love yourself, to love other people. To be in a really hard, in a hard connection, kind of relation with um, basically everything, and so you have to open your heart. That's the message. You have to open your heart without expectation. You have to open your heart without expectation, even if you have doubt. Sometimes you have to open your heart without expectation, and you will see. You will see what what uh, what it is about, and if it's not for you, you, just leave it. Just apply the lesson that you've learned in the past. I mean, the spiritual lesson that you've learned. Also, with the five of of sword, we see that there is um, there is like um, like a fight. It can be like a fight in yourself. It can it can feel like a fight in yourself, like you, you're you not sure, you're really not sure. It also can be your ego. Your ego wanted something or wanted to do something when your heart is saying something else. Okay. I'm gonna take the Gypsy Oracle. So this is a new Oracle that I bought and I've used it like just once. And there's not, um, there's not the interpretation of the card. In the in the book, so it's one hundred percent intuitive. So I was a bit uh, scared to take it with me today for this uh, reading because I don't know the card. But my guide insisted, so let's just see what are the message. So more guidance for this equinox, please. Guidance for this equinox. Okay, this one. This is my. Oh, sorry. I'm having the messenger. So it's possible that you receive, uh, like I say, new. It's like an invitation, maybe, or proposition from other people, maybe to start something, maybe to can also be just simply to to go out, uh, 
can be also a date because we have love. You can have a date with your friend or you can have a date with a future, maybe potential uh, partner. Or it can just be love that is knocking at your door and saying, Hey, when are you reconnecting with me? <laughs> you know, the universe sometimes just wants you to open your heart because the world needs you. The world needs your generosity. The world needs your, your love. Just simply. So it can also be good news that something you're waiting for a long time that is happening. I'm also seeing that. And we got consolation. Here, consolation. Just gonna tune to this one. Okay, for some people it's gonna be in a period of uh, rest. You're gonna feel like uh, now it's time to, to to relax, to calm down, to to reconnect with yourself. Maybe it's time to take some day off. Um, maybe it's time to. I'm really feeling the time to reconnect with yourself. The time to maybe wake up your your abilities also, divine abilities. I'm feeling something like that also. Mm, yes, okay. I'm gonna take the Archangel Michael, Oracle. So, some more messages. Archangel Michael. I'm a fresh spirit. You created this situation and you have the power to change it. So maybe for some of you the new path is just to let go of the old path. Or it's just to find a solution with what you're experiencing so that you can create a new direction. Okay, there's this idea of believing in your creative power, in your power to change the situation, in your power to manifest something new, in your own gift, spiritual gift, um, and you're also in the, tri in, in, the, in the power of the universe also. Trusting, trusting, trusting. We have guarded and protected guarded and protected into this one too okay I'm seeing a rainbow uh, ray and it's like um, it's like it's connecting you with the earth with Gaia and also it's a very, uh, and with the, I think the elemental also, connection with the elemental. It's like this rainbow energy is a protection. This is your protection. So maybe we need to we need to wipe with this rainbow, um, rainbow rays during this equinox. 
I have God is in charge. So that is again a confirmation to trust in the universe. Trust in your intuition. Maybe to be also more spontaneous. What I mean by that is when you feel an inspiration, just do not think too much and just go for it. Just trust that, that what's coming through is, um, is, 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 a, is a real message for you. Believing in your own uh, abilities. And we have make a commitment. Make a commitment. So I'm, I'm hearing being clear with what you're asking to the universe. What you want to manifest, what you want to see in your life. Being clear with what you want. So with what I said just before, it is asking you to follow your heart and uh, basically to follow um, what gives you joy and pleasure and makes you feel free and um, trusting also other people because it, it really feels like you will have some people to help you or that wants to create something with you and um, make a commitment can also be that it can also uh, to trust the process to trust uh, the process in a new project or uh, just it can just be your own healing trusting that um, that you're gonna heal <laughs> Simply. Okay. Now I'm just gonna see if there's some more messages. I'm feeling uh, some of you are suffering and you are it's like your heart is is uh, hurted you're hurt and um i feel like uh, that it's spirits coming and saying now it's time to take away the bandage it's time to take away the bandage it's, it's time to to heal the sore and when i'm saying that i'm looking for this one the consolation that i showed you before it's been coming and saying it's, it's time to open your heart again. It's time to. It's time to move forward. It's time to be open. New things are coming through for you. There is also a lot of love that is waiting for you. To believe in the power of love. Because that could be the title of the video. I don't know if I'm going to write that, but it could be like, Believe in the power of love, or power of love, something like that. Yeah, anyway. Um, is there something more? I'm seeing a lot of rainbow energies, a lot of rainbow energies. Ooh. Rainbow energy is okay. It is also because there is this rainbow energy. It's also the energy of the light worker of the of the golden age, and um, when you see the rainbow ray, it's also an invitation to to come together with your tribe, with your soul tribe, with other light worker. So I'm feeling like. Um, could even be some project with other light quicker or there is something like that. You know the equinox uh, is a time of great power. There's this great energy coming on Earth, and uh, in the in the old times, the priests and priestesses would uh, reunite to have a special ceremony and to invoke some. Um, some 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 special energy that were needed for people, so maybe there is something like that. Uh, something uh, 
like a grid maybe like a grid that forming a grid soul tribe grid working on something like that can also be new light uh, light codes coming in to form a grid okay yes I think it is that I think I'm gonna stop here so thank you for watching this video I hope you like it write in the comment if it resonates always love to read your comments and to respond so go nuts <laughs> and um, see you soon goodbye